Will they or won't they? Will Idaho's legislatures, legislature, I should say, call themselves back into session to clean up the presidential primary mess they made last session? Well, we learned today they won't. In an attempt to save the state nearly $3 million, lawmakers got rid of all March elections last session, but they failed to realize that also meant goodbye to a possibility of a March or even May presidential primary. The try to fix that mistake vanished as quickly as it took House State Affairs Committee Chairman to say, that's it, I made my decision. So the state Republican Party decided this summer to move toward a March caucus to pick a president in 2024. And that was the plan, unless House and Senate members could agree to another plan to fix it in a special session. And that agreement had to happen this week. Joe Paris explains why it won't happen. Behind the scenes at the Idaho State House, lawmakers tell me there's been evolving conversations about having a special session to address the presidential preference primary situation. You might have heard a new Idaho law inadvertently eliminated the presidential primary because of technical errors. An effort to fix that late in the session failed. So the current situation allows for political parties to create their own system to nominate a presidential candidate. The Idaho GOP announced following their convention in June that they're moving to a firehouse caucus, which creates GOP caucuses all around the state on March 2nd, 2024. Right now, we're at a bit of a stalemate. In a quickly evolving situation, House Majority Leader Representative Megan Blanksma details the dynamic between the House and Senate. We have two different petitions that conflict with each other. One's from the Senate, and they have 60% of the senators on that petition, and one's from the House, and there are 60% of the House members on that petition. To summarize, the Idaho House petition supports a March primary format option for political parties. The ballot would only include the presidential preference vote, and that would come at the cost of about $3 million every four years. The Idaho Senate petition supports putting the presidential preference primary on the May ballot. And that 60% number is what's needed for each legislative body to call themselves back. But it needs to be 60% on one petition, not two efforts. And on top of that, the clock is ticking. We're trying to figure out with the state party what that clock really means. We're told that there is an October 1st decision point with the National Republican Party as to um, our state party deciding how they are going to select presidential delegates. That's what this is about. This is about selecting presidential delegates. It sounds like it's a fairly hard deadline. It's from the Republican National Committee. Uh, and that's part of their rules that they have to know what the state's going to do by October 1. And we're being told other states are trying to make some changes and do some things and that they're not going to allow those. And uh, it's my understanding they've already told uh, uh, the Idaho party that they can't do a, a caucus without losing delegates. Senate pro tem Senator Chuck Winder highlights the tricky landscape of the situation. Travel of lawmakers is certainly a consideration. Uh, well, it's certainly not going to happen this week, I don't think. Um, just to, even if we could come to some agreement, it takes time to get the petition signed on both sides and, and get it organized and give people proper notice so they can get to town and all that. So I don't think anything's going to happen this week. Winder, like other lawmakers, point to a key point in all of this. The Idaho GOP can basically do whatever they want, regardless of any action lawmakers take. For example, even if we did move the primary back to March, they may want to just have the caucus because they can control that more than they can, you know, the general electorate coming in to, to vote. So I don't know. Uh, I haven't heard that directly from anyone in the party, but that's one of the things that, that's stirring around out there is even if we did the presidential primary in March, uh, they still might do a caucus. Idaho lawmakers will be back in session in about three months, and at that point, there are a lot more options. Well, in January, we can do anything, right? If, if we wanted to consolidate all the elections and have them in January, I, I mean, I suppose we could do that. So, so there's always options once we get to January. And, and the, the special sessions, these extraordinary sessions, they're expensive. And, and you want to make sure that you have everything lined out. And clearly, with two dueling petitions, we still have some things to work out. So maybe we get it done in the next couple of days and we come back. But right now, we're still in a little bit of limbo. You never know. I thought I would have told you, and I think I did tell you, when you asked uh, Thursday, I thought we were, weren't going to make 60 in the House. And then over the weekend, we managed to move to 60 in the House. So. 
So as uh, Representative Langsma highlighted there at the end, things change very quickly. I did want to mention, though, as a part of this story, we heard a lot from Republicans. Idaho Democrats, they also put out a statement this week calling for the majority party to basically figure it out. The Dems have said that they want to do a primary election format, not a caucus. And Brian, at this point, it, it really is a case of something has to give or nothing happens at all. And it, it kind of seems like we're deadlocked at this point. But um, well, even, even in, in this afternoon, I'm hearing, you know, there's still conversations going. Representative Blaisman said it could happen in the next couple of days, but likely it won't because they got to do it before Saturday or mm -hmm. Sunday, which is October 1st. So that's likely not going to happen. They got two days to get everybody together from all around the state. And is it true if they do hold a caucus, there will no longer be 32 delegates from Idaho to the Republican National Convention? I think there's a lot of conversations going on right now between the national GOP and local GOPs, not just in Idaho. There are some rule changes at the party level, uh, at the national party level, that I know that they're still trying to work out. So as you heard uh, Chuck Winder talk about there, it's possible that a lot of this could look different look moving forward. Still more to come. All right, oh, thanks, yes. Joe. Always is.